Hello and welcome to The Daily Brown Bag. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Google Helpouts. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning, Chad. Welcome to The Brown Bag. So yeah, Google Helpouts. This is a new program from Google. People are probably familiar with Google Hangouts. And as we know, Google tests lots of new things. So Google Helpouts, here it comes. And what is this thing? Well, they've just announced this new program called Google Helpouts. And it allows you to both get and give help online and help in what sort of topics? Well, all sorts of things. You can get help on home repairs, uh, the latest uh, yoga poses, uh, how to cook a great meal for your family, doing your homework, or even learning how to play an instrument such as a guitar. So Google's going to launch this thing and we're going to see if it catches on. And I think that's an interesting discussion to have today, Chad, is just, you know, will this be something that catches on? Google has had a history of trying many, many products. They don't all catch and a lot of them do end up getting sunsetted and closed down. This one, though, is kind of close to sort of a live chat type feature, but very subject oriented. And there's a lot of data that people really do enjoy and use uh, live chat. Here's a survey from Bold Chat last year that says 65% of US online shoppers engaged in live chat. 31% of online shoppers say that they're more likely to buy after a live chat. So I'm not really sure exactly how Google is positioning this product. And that's what I'd like to discuss this morning in the brown bag chat. You know, is this going to catch on, A, and B, what will be the advantage, if any, for our internet marketing community? And another great question. And uh, we know Google is throwing lots of new things at us here. Um, so let's, let's look at in the past of what Google's done. So they did roll out a product a couple years ago called Google Answers. And the general idea there was for people to have written responses, more of a, a knowledge base um, that, would, that would answer various questions. This is an interesting and, and little subtle change because what they're doing is I think they're trying to find another hook for, for their G Plus product. Um, and so today we're talking to you in Google Hangouts, which is a great product they've built. It has very, very high quality um, video conferencing capabilities. So I think what they're looking to do is to leverage this investment that they built. Um, and what they want to do is take that and create a, a marketplace for experts and people seeking advice to be able to connect <clears throat> and build a marketplace where those people with information um, can you know, create profiles and then people who are seeking that information can go read reviews and set up a time of book an appointment and then facilitate the transaction so that there's a per minute or per hour rate and, and take a part of that. So it's going to, I think it'll be a really interesting product. I think the big question here is whether or not, um, you know, whether people are seeking and want to pay for advice and setting up these these conferences. It'll be another great way for them again to leverage and maybe bring more people into Google+. This is something that Facebook and Twitter aren't doing today. So I think that's really what we're seeing here with uh, with this Google Helpouts. Interesting. And, and I know there's all sorts of discussion about some of the privacy concerns and what's going to be discussed and different topics. If you get into medical, you've got HIPAA issues. Um, you know, is there going to be a money back guarantee? Uh, and, you know, are you going to cover adult topics? So there's all sorts of things that will have to be ironed out by Google. But I guess a few notable points, at least from my perspective, Chad, as I listen to what you're saying is, you know, one is the, the revenue model here is strikingly different than what we would expect. Google, you know, traditionally would do something like this and then stick ads around it. I hear you saying they might be going a different way. It'll be interesting to watch that unfold. But then kind of from the bigger picture, you think about, you know, their core product, of course, is their search engine and ads around the search engine, which is ultimately content organization and delivery, other people's content. Here again, they, they are leveraging other people's content, but they're trying to move from the traditional web interface into some of these other communication tools, such as Google Hangouts and you know, Gmail, as you've talked about. So I think on the strategy side, I find it quite interesting that they're still trying to get and organize and help bring you great content, but they're trying to now leverage video and they may be dabbling with a new revenue model. All very interesting. So we'll have to stay tuned and see if Google Helpouts ultimately does deliver the help people want. We'd be interested in your feedback. Do you feel like, oh boy, Google just another product and I don't have time for this, not interested, I already have my sources when I need uh, live video feeds and help or I just do that on YouTube for free today? Or is this something you think could really uh, catch on? Uh, we're here every day doing the brown bag. We hope to see you next week. Please subscribe.